In this video, I'd like to use a base block model to multiply 300 times 5. You have a choice of making 300 copies of 5, or you can make 5 copies of 300. I don't think you want to watch a video where I make 300 copies of 5, so instead I will make 5 copies of 300. Oftentimes you'll see me using a flat that looks like this, that has 100 units in it, so one flat is 100 units. However, since this object is difficult to draw, I'd like to show you how you could do the problem by just drawing one big square rather than 100 units so that it'd be easy to draw and it would work as long as you know that this big square represents a flat or 100 units. Since I want 300 units, and each one of these is 100 units, I will need three of these squares. So on your paper, you could draw three squares on top of one another. That would be one, two squares. One more would be three. So this would represent one, two, three flats, or 300 units. And now I need to make five copies of that. So this would be one copy. This would be two copies three copies, four copies, and finally five copies. So to summarize, this is one, two, three flats, or 300 units, and I made one, two, three, four, five copies of it. So I have five copies of 300. That would be 300 plus 300 plus 300 plus 300 plus 300 more. If you add 300 five times, that's the equivalent of making five copies of 300. And if you did that, you would get 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 hundred or 1,500. So 300 times 5 is equal to 1,500. In a similar way, if I wanted to multiply the number negative 300 times 5, you could think of this as that the negative here just means that we want the opposite of the previous situation where we had 300 times 5. So it's very important that you watch the first part of the video where I showed how to multiply 300 times 5. And we came out with the fact that if you multiplied 300 times 5, that that indeed came out to be 1,500. So if we want the opposite of 300 times 5, that that would be equivalent to finding the opposite of 1,500. And the opposite of 1,500 would be negative 1,500. So you can see that multiplying negative 300 times 5 is very similar to multiplying 300 times 5. You start by multiplying 300 times 5, and then the negative just means to do the opposite of that answer. And since that answer was 1,500, the opposite of that answer would be negative 1,500. So in the example I just did, I did 300 times 5 and end up arguing that that was 1,500. I also did negative 300 times 5 and argued the answer would be negative 1,500. And in that explanation, I made no attempt to show the general rules for multiplying sine numbers. Now that I'm going to do that, it would show you the two other variations on this problem. So it turns out that the rules in general for multiplication are that if the signs of the two numbers that you're multiplying are the same, your answer will come out positive. This is an example of that. Positive 300 times positive 5. Both numbers were positive, so they had the same signs. That gave me a positive answer. Now, they don't have to be both positive. A variation on this would be if you had negative 300 and you were multiplying by negative 5. It doesn't matter that I changed the positive numbers to negative. The rule is, as long as the signs are the same, the answer comes out positive. So this number is negative, this number is negative, they have the same signs, meaning they're both negative, so my answer will come out positive. And to do the rest of the problem, you think of is you multiply these two numbers in absolute value. And the absolute value of negative 300 is 300. 
the absolute value of negative 5 is 5, and we've already done that problem. Multiplying the absolute value of these two numbers, we got 1,500. So you should note that this is the sign on the answer, not the sign on the individual numbers in the product. So we got a positive answer there. Now, if the signs were different, the answer would be negative. So that was the case here. We had a negative number here, and we had a positive number here. One was negative, one was positive, so the signs were different, and the answer came out to be a negative result, negative 1,500. Well, the other way that this could happen, where you'd have different signs, would be if the first number was positive, and it was the second number that was negative, so I changed the negative 300 to positive 300, and I changed the 5 to negative 5, just to point out that in this case, you would still get a negative result because the signs are different. It doesn't matter which one's positive, which one's negative. The fact that one's positive and one's negative means they have different signs, meaning that your answer is going to come out to be negative in that case. And just like before, to get the rest of the answer, you take the absolute value of the numbers, and then multiply. Well, the absolute value of 300 is 300. The absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. So again, we've already done that, and we got 1,500.